The next option in the top right corner is settings. When you click on settings, it brings you to your personal settings. Here you can edit your name, email, mobile number, and password to log into the portal. The personal greeting is an audio message that will take place before your phone rings. For example, you can have it say, thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. The forwarding whisper is a recorded message that will play when you pick up the phone. Only you will hear this audio message. For example, you can have it say, receiving call from your direct number. You can have the forwarding whisper say anything you would like in order to better understand what number the person is calling and how to best answer the call. If you have a direct number and are in different groups like sales and customer service, you can set up forwarding whisper for each. The orange cloud is how you upload audio to the portal. Click on the cloud and it will bring up the sound manager. The voicemail settings tab allow you to edit your personal voicemail setup. The voicemail inbox allows you to select the desired voicemail box that appears on your phone and the portal. The voicemails will be emailed to you with the attached voicemail audio files so you can listen to your voicemails on your email. The PIN code is a password to get into your voicemail box to listen to your messages. Empty voicemail notifications. Check this box if you want to still receive email notifications when someone doesn't leave you a voicemail message. Always ask PIN. If you check this box, you will have to enter your PIN code in order to listen to your voicemails. The voicemail greeting. Click the orange cloud to upload your voicemail greeting. Once you click save, your voicemail greeting will appear as below. Click the play button to listen to the voicemail message. Click the red button to delete the audio message or click the orange cloud to upload another audio file. The temporary greeting take precedence over your voicemail greeting. You can set this one up for a holiday and it will play instead of your normal greeting. Once you delete your temporary greeting, the system will revert back to the greeting that is set under voicemail greeting.